Veuillez vous lever. President, please be seated. For Mr. Nunjia, the International and National Co-Council are absent. And as for the accused, uh, Nunjia, he waived his right to directly present in the court hearing, as uh, stated in the document uh, dated 17 November 2015, uh, with his signature. Thank you, Mr. President. President, uh, Greffier, please uh, make mention again about the accused presence. Greffier, Mr. President, I would like to read the letter of Mr. Nguyen to judges of the Supreme Court chamber regarding the waiver of his presence in the court room because I am I uh, because I have uh, you know back pain and I cannot sit for long and in order to effectively participate in the courtroom effectively I would like to follow the proceeding in the holding cell downstairs on uh, 17 November 2015 I have been informed by uh, my counsel about the consequences of this waiver that is that it cannot in any account be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by the court at any time during the trial, respectively, the accused Nguyen Chia. President, uh, so the accused Nguyen Chia uh, has uh, waived uh, his rights to directly present in the courtroom because of his health issue. So security personnel, please ensure that uh, Nguyen Chia is uh, within uh, the holding cell downstairs. Agent de sécurité, veuillez vous assurer que Nguyen Chia soit bel et bien présent dans la cellule de détention temporaire. Regarding the presence of counsel for the accused Nguyen Chia, the International and National Council for the Accused are not present in the courtroom, although the chamber decides and instruct the Et lawyers to be here. So now I would like to hear comments or observations from party regarding the absence of uh, the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia. You have the floor now if you want to make any comments. You have the floor, International Co-Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, we believe that the proceedings this morning made it clear that Nguyen Chia does not want his counsel to present any arguments 
or actively participate in these hearings. Clearly also, Your Honours ordered counsel to be present, and they've defied that order. And I think uh, Your Honours can deal with counsel's what I believe is uh, misconduct or obstruction. But we believe that the proceedings at this point go forward. It's not for Nunchia to dictate the schedule of hearings or whether the case against him, the appeal against him, can proceed. He, of course, has a right not to make submissions at the hearing, just as during the trial. Nunchia had every right to testify and try to explain his side of the story to the Cambodian people. He chose not to testify and undergo cross-examination. He remains with the right to testify in case 2-2. But it's not for him here to decide, or excuse me, it is his right here to decide if he wants that his lawyers will remain silent. We think we should proceed as scheduled. Q excuse me, Mr. Q Sampan's team can make their submissions, and the co-prosecutors will respond to all of the allegations regarding the fairness of the trial by both Q Sampan and Nunchia. What about the defense team for Mr. Kyusam Pond? Do you wish to make any comments? Thank you, Mr. President. We have no further comments. Uh, look, and I would like to know whether international or national legal lawyers would like to make comment regarding the uh, absence of counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Ce you, qui Mr. nous paraît President. important, c'est la présence de l'accusé. Or, l'accusé n'est pas physiquement présent dans le prétoire, mais il est présent quand même, puisqu'il est présent en bas dans la, dans la cellule. Donc, nous sommes d'avis que le procès peut continuer en l'absence des avocats de Nunchia, dans la mesure où celui-ci est présent physiquement dans les locaux des CETC. President, you have the floor now, international co-prosecutor. I just want to try to express myself again, one I think I spoke too quickly last time. To make it clear, we believe your honors have given Nunchia every opportunity, and he continues to have every opportunity to present oral arguments at this hearing. He has chosen, apparently, not to do so. That is a waiver and the court can proceed. He's been given the right, he's been given the opportunity, he's chose not to exercise that. That doesn't bring the proceedings to a halt. The proceedings should continue. Now, the counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia uh, is not here in the courtroom. The chamber would like to take some time to deliberate on the matter. The court is now in recess.